Nicknamed Tiger of the Sea, this apex predator is one of the most aggressive species of fish you'll ever find in the ocean. This fish is known to chase after sharks and can reach speeds of up to 60 kilometers an hour. They're so badass that they even compete with dolphins for food. And to top it off, if you were to consume this fish, you'd most likely get quite ill and may even end up in the hospital. Of course, I'm talking about the Great Barracuda. And for those who've never seen one before, they kind of look like this, except this is actually a yellowtail barracuda, their little cousin. What they actually look like is this. Yep, yeah, you definitely don't want to bump into one of these guys while swimming in the ocean. You may just lose a finger or two. Great barracudas are the largest in the barracuda family from the genus Farina, and they're known to grow up to almost 2 meters in length and potentially weighing more than 45 kilos. That's the same weight as a baby hippo. Just let that sink in for a bit. Now, if you're still looking to lose a few fingers, here's where you'll find them. They typically roam the warm tropical waters of the Indian, Pacific and Atlantic oceans and can reach depths of up to 110 meters, but often you'll find them in open or shallow reefy waters where prey is abundant. Interestingly, juvenile barracudas exhibit green brownish colors which blends them in with the shallow grassy waters, but as they mature, their colors then change to a more gray silver tone to match the colors of the open ocean. This use of color as camouflage not only protects them from other predators, but it also allows them to become more effective at ambushing prey themselves. And before I talk about what they generally feed on, let's take a look at their choice of weapon. Their pointed snout is filled with two rows of razor sharp teeth, but what differentiates them from other toothed fish is the fact that they have sockets in their jaws that their teeth fit into, allowing them to fully close their mouth and conceal their deadly weapon, until of course they're ready to attack. The outer row of teeth are packed tightly together and acts as a saw which cuts through flesh like butter. On the other hand, the inner row contains larger teeth which are designed to specifically grip and hold their prey. Unlike us humans, barracudas are polyphiodonts, meaning they can go through more than two sets of teeth in their lifetime, and so they don't really have to worry about losing a tooth because it will just grow back. Now, when it comes to their eyesight, there are debates as to whether they have excellent eyesight or whether they actually have very poor eyesight and are in fact relying on their lateral line to detect nearby vibrations or using their olfactory system, aka their sense of smell, to find food. What we can say for certain though is that they mostly hunt during the day and are able to detect the smallest movements in the water. Great barracudas feed on an array of prey including groupers, snappers, small tunas, herrings, anchovies and a whole heap of other species. They're not really picky eaters and in fact are more likely to chase down a fish who's trying to flee as it triggers their hunting instincts. In the fishing world, we call this a reaction strike. They mainly rely on two hunting strategies, either sitting in camouflage and waiting for an unsuspecting prey to come by before launching an ambush, or they simply chase down their prey, as they can reach burst speeds of up to 60 kilometers an hour, often slicing their targets in half upon impact. Now, although they are primarily solitary animals, they will often form loose schools to hunt down baitfish together. However, this doesn't really last long as they are notoriously territorial and will fiercely defend their hunting grounds. We as humans love to eat fish, but what if I told you that simply by serving up a plate of great barracuda at the dinner table, you risk the chance of nausea, vomiting, stomach aches, and in extreme instances, even hallucination and blurred vision. This is due to a very specific toxin known as ciguatera. I'll probably make another video on this in the future, but essentially, this type of food poisoning is the result of larger fish feeding on smaller plant-eating fish who feed on these toxic algae. Because these larger fish generally live longer, they consume more fish, building up more of these toxins in their body and in turn makes us sick when we consume them. Leaving this aside, should you be scared or worried if you ever encounter a great barracuda in the wild? The answer is, probably not. Although great barracudas are quite curious, there's only ever been 25 reported attacks in the last century, most of these attacks involving them trying to steal a free meal from spear fishermen. 
A common misconception is that the Barracuda is related to the freshwater pike, and although they may have similar body shapes and even hunting styles, they are in fact not related. But if you do want to learn more about the most fierce freshwater fish, the northern pike, you may just want to check out this next video.